Bradley Schlepp with the Coon Rapids Bear Crusaders joining us here at their own Invitational. We're down in Guthrie Center here tonight at Riley two of four events in the books for you already tonight. Let's start off with that four by two. Uh, the anchor leg, as you tend to be in most of your relays. Um, how did you feel watching the other girls? Uh, did it look like everything was going pretty smooth tonight? Well, the first leg did with uh, Haley and then uh, Bailey or Sarah, and it looked like pretty good to me because I was right there and I saw the handoff but then I didn't get to see the one between Sarah and Nicole and then mine and Nicole's was kind of it wasn't the greatest but uh, we're trying to figure it out still. So. I was gonna say how many times have you guys had a chance to really work on those handoffs so far? Uh, not in like an actual race but we do like straight up and down which is different but it's still kind of the same. The, the biggest thing just getting kind of the timing of where, where she needs to tell you when to go? Yeah, uh, we did 20 sets tonight, but I think we might need to lessen it. <laughs> now, you mentioned you're over there on that corner with Sarah, uh, a freshman. Yep. Uh, first time really running at the varsity level, of course. Did you give her any advice? How do you kind of keep her calm and comfortable in these relays? <laughs> oh, we just kinda... Or do you even have to? Well, I think she's she's kind of calm by herself Happy anyway, block. and she knows, like, she's kind of bubbly and happy all the time, so I guess... It doesn't really matter how like, any of us do, she's always like, good job and all this, which makes it a lot of fun and easier for us upperclassmen. And and it like, I don't know, it, Lindsay Dicklin, I guess it's kind of how like, I hoped I was when I was it's a freshman. And, uh, I looked up to upperclassmen like that, like Sarah does and how calm she is. So, but I would tell her to like, just stay calm and don't worry about it. And, Good Talk about your leg of the 4 by 2 You said the handoff a little rough, but you had nobody pushing you at that point. How was it? Did you feel good running? Uh, I felt all right. At, towards the end, I, I just felt like I couldn't. my legs couldn't go any faster, but I still tried to like push it out as much as I could. Now tonight, you also got the chance to run the Open 200. You yep. said it's the first uh, individual event you've been in. Yeah. Uh, so talk about how that went. How did you feel coming out of the blocks first time all year? Yeah. Uh, well, I've never really been good at coming out of the blocks. So that's probably why I never start out of the blocks. But uh, it was different. Um, I only worked on it yesterday. And I felt better than what I did last year when I ran open ones. But... Uh, your winner in a I guess new meet record. Right. He ran 23.87. It felt good coming you around the curve, but towards the end it was kind of tiring. And then to see the girls with such long legs beside me, it was kind of tough. Well, discouraging. But. I was going to say, really talented field it sounded like uh, coming into that event tonight. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, very athletic girls that I noticed that when we played against in other sports, they they were good. And so I assume they were going to be good at this one too. Two more events coming up. Sprint Madden 4x1 tonight. Two, two events you girls should do very, very well in tonight. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I guess they're coming up really fast, and the meet's going by really fast, too. Well, I tell you what, I'll let you go get stretched and ready for those good job here so far tonight. Thank you.